So, the new PlayStation and Xbox consoles are out. I of course got two of each. Hand controllers, headsets, all the shit you need. But most of all a huge stack of games for each. Demon Souls, Spider-Man, some shitty game called Godfall, NBA 2K1, the new Watch Dogs, Dirt 5, Borderlands 3, and some Xbox games. But you know what? Fuck all those games. I know what you're really here for, the real winner. A game I believe I and only I have. GTA 6. Yeah, I was looking through the huge stack of games I bought. While smoking on some good shit, listening to WAP by Cardi B. I almost shit my pants when I saw a somewhat familiar yet strange sight. A game by Rockstar called Grand Theft Auto. 6? Well, the box looked just like the familiar box for the normal GTA 5 game. Well, I'm sure you've already played on PS3 and PS4. <laughs> and I knew there was going to be a version for PS5. And I'm sure in the future there'll be a version for PS6, 7 and 8 too. Oh, they really like selling the old games to us over and over. But, well, I was sure it wasn't going to be out yet. Well, that was strange. Even stranger, the box said 6 and not 5. But I told myself it was only a printing error, probably. And so I put the game into my brand new PS5. Holy freaking shit. The graphics were way, way above anything on the PS4 or PS5 or even my high-end PC. Holy crap. It really looked like real life. So I started the game way back in Liberty City. A parody of New York City from previous GTA games. But now it looked like real New York. Our youth player is a kid from Rockstar's bully game, but now he's grown up. The streets were bustling with life, like New York. Brain dead influencers filming themselves, teens twerking for TikTok, people trying to sell you shit, beggars, drug dealers. And then my mum bust into the room. Oh, mom, you can't be doing shit like that. Remember when you did that and I was watching Mia Khalifa? Well, hmm, that was awkward. Well, don't be inside here smoking and touching yourself all day. You need to go outside and play. Hey, where's your friend John? Hey, what show are you watching? It's not a show, Mom. It's my new game. And I'm calling John later. We're outside to do a Smash video for YouTube. Smash video? What's that? Hmm, well, that game looks cool. Better than all those bloody games you play, like Kawoodidi. What? <laughs> hey, show me the game. So, I showed my mum the game. She was impressed, but, well, I couldn't do any killings, buying drugs, or, you know, any of the other crazy shit. Just driving, trying to abide the law. But, man, it was tempting to drive over some annoying teen bitches. Maybe even a priest. But, well... My mom pays for all my stuff, and I really don't want to be a loser and get a job like John. Busting my ass all day with no time to play. So the worst thing I did was driving in the wrong lane. And my mom got mad and said, oh, I would never get a driving license like that. Then John came over. I let my mom play and showed him the game real quick. Then we grabbed my extra PS5 for the video. Hey, um, I'm letting John borrow my second PS5. I told my mum, but of course I was lying. Well, we were then outside, and I threw the PS5 into the ground, and John filmed. <laughs> this is going to get some views. I was going to be mad, because the PS5 still sold out everywhere. They can't even get one to play with, but I got one to play it, and an extra one to destroy, just to piss people off. And tomorrow we'll do the same shit with my extra Xbox. Hmm. We uploaded the video to YouTube. I scrolled through the news real quick. Politics, phew, boring. Sports, meh. Murder, rape, drugs. Another school shooting. Some asshole driving in the wrong lane. Kim Kardashian's nudes leaked again. Well, too bad for her, but a good time for me when I get home. Anyway, I'm gonna smoke and then sleep. Tomorrow, I'm trying to play the game for reals and smash in the Xbox. Oh, and seeing how many views my video got. Fun times. Well, 
see a loser. The second day. So we smashed the Xbox. Well, John asked if I'd give it to him because I had two and he didn't have any. He even offered to pay it off. Well, I told him nothing in life is free and smashed it right in front of him. If we both have an Xbox each, I don't see the fun in that. Well, the fun's me having two and he has none. Well, it seems like my video from yesterday's blowing up. I got ten bucks in ad revenue. John's an asshole, as usual, and keeps talking about how that Xbox costs like 500 bucks. And I keep telling him my mom paid for it, so it didn't cost him anything. Well, anyway, we got back home and I could finally show him the game. He was impressed, but also perplexed. Well, he didn't really understand how I could have this game from the future. It was like something I wasn't supposed to have. Well, it turns out you can fly and get to both Vice City and San Andreas. Cities from the previous GTA games. So we flew down to Vice City and went on a killing spree. There's a split screen co-op, so I let John play as Max Payne from the games with the same names. <laughs> really awesome how Rockstar lets you play as him in this game. We picked up hookers and had our fun. Or killed him afterwards so we could get our cash back, of course. Shooting people in the face. Stabbing them. Hitting them with baseball bats and dildos, yeah. GTA lets you use dildos as weapons. We even burn people. The usual Molotov cocktails were thrown and flamethrowers were used. It was a bit disturbing. I mean, the graphics looked so real. Their skin melting, running around screaming in pain. You could almost smell their rotten flesh. Well, got to be too much for John, so we decided to end it for the night. Tomorrow, we were going to San Andreas. I listened to the news again before going to sleep. Some psycho went on a rampage in Miami, burning hookers and more. <laughs> Whatever, well, such for them, but I don't live there. I, mean, I live here in New York City. The third day. I skipped class so I could get home early. John was still stuck in school. This time I took a flight to San Andreas. Tried to get a five-star rating with the police. One star gets you one police car after you. Two gets you two, and at five stars, they're sending in all they got after you. Well, it was easy to do when you got a tank. Oh, I rolled over cars, crushing them under the tank's track. I shot down police helicopters from the sky. And then, my mom entered the room. Well, she was upset and showed me video footage of some madman in L.A. driving a tank, shooting police. Oh, fuck. It looks like your game. Mom told me the obvious. Well, shit. I'll stop playing, I told her. Wow. I went out to smoke. Something was weird with that game. I looked online and no one should even have a copy of GTA 6 at this point in time. I mean, but... It was just a game, was it not? Fuck. If those things I did in the game somehow were real, I'd really fucked up. I felt ashamed. I sat outside for hours. I was thinking, God, what if the cops knew? I had to go up again and destroy that game to make sure neither John nor anyone else played it ever again. I noticed how people were walking around mindlessly, like zombies, and I mean, and I mean even more than normally when they're looking into their smartphone screens. One of them brushed against my shoulder. I looked into its red eyes and saw its open mouth and arms reaching out for me. Holy fuck. She... <laughs> Holy fuck. She really was a zombie. Well, I hauled ass into my apartment complex, into my apartment, and went straight for my room. I went to my bedroom and saw John playing the game with a huge smile on his face. Hey, there's an undead nightmare expansion. Oh, zombies, Bigfoots, vampires, the end of the world and everything.
Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this story today. It really means a lot to me and to the author of the story, of course. Well, if you want to know more about me, I'm pretty much everywhere on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can download my music on SoundCloud. Um, I've got a Patreon if you feel like. Throw me a dollar or two. Very much appreciated. And of course, on Reddit, I have a place where you can leave stories if you want me to read one that you've written. Well, hoping to see you all again very soon. Till then, sweet dreams, and bye-bye.